from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Social enterprise Cassini Water is accelerating its Water Champions program to train unemployed youth and unlock economic opportunities in communities as it works to provide water access across South Africa. Natasha Odendahl has a story. The 2023 edition of the Water Champions program, a hybrid skills development program, is designed to give technical training to 100 young individuals, equipping them with water-related technical skills and providing them with an NQF Level 2 accreditation in the basics of water technology and treatment. This program also aims to improve economic participation by training the youth to own and run water kiosks. The aim is to mitigate one of the biggest challenges in rural water economics, the financial and operational sustainability of water projects. 50% of all water projects fail within the first two to three years and the biggest reason why that's the case is because they lack, lack, they lack local ownership. They do not have a component where once a project is installed in a community, the community itself knows how to operate that, pro that project and is able to sustain it themselves. So Water Champions is a res technical response to that. So we train young people from communities that are affected by lack of access to clean water. So the uh, Water Champions are trained to operate and run and the water filtration systems that we put in those communities and also they're able to, um, to generate some sort of income from those, um, from those um, locations, sustaining the project, creating a full-time employment, as well as ensuring that the, the, the project continues to run. For each province, the top 10 successful candidates will be participating online in the first half of the boot camp. Of this, four candidates will then be selected to join the in-person boot camp where they'll be trained further and receive a grant to start and run their own water kiosk in their own community, particularly at points of use in schools, clinics and other important facilities within the communities affected by a lack of access to clean water and sanitation. This also provides the opportunity for an additional 100 jobs as the water champions require a technical support team. As soon as um, recruitment, um, training and handover is done for water champion in their own community, there's a few steps that need to be fulfilled. So one of them is they need to be business ready, so they need to have submitted all of their CK documents, they need to be obviously uh, proof that they're from that community and that they're able to, to operate in that community. So we've got a team that is more administrative that helps them to get to that point. Our technical team manufactures tests and runs the treatment systems before they're sent out to Water Champion um, in our warehouse here. And once that is done, the technical team goes in to, da to do an installation and a handover. So in the handover, then the, the Water Champions are trained on how to operate just the practical day-to-day -day operational stuff. And then the technical team is then available to do uh, maintenance um, or more te technological support over time. Each of the units that we send out come out with a sensor. Um, the sensor just gives us an idea of how that system is operating. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis. With each kiosk um, that, that we start, with each water project that we start, there's two employment, um, two jobs that we create out of that. Um, one of the biggest needs right now is to ensure that before a project is done, uh, all the groundwork is done. So all the technical vi viabilities are done. So we need to be able to be in a position where technically we can do that. Um, so we create, we've got a team that really focuses on ensuring that that happens. As we are operating in all nine provinces, we need to be able to have a good network of um, technical support as well. Uh, because as much as water champions are trained, they don't have like years and years and years of experience running this thing. So the other technical team that is out there in the entire country ensures that from a technical support point of view, um, the system does not need to wait for us to come from Joburg. So there needs to be more people that are in the communities out there. So those are the jobs that we create that are more support-based jobs um, and these are more technical support-based jobs um, that ensures that the Water Champion constantly um, has the technical support. The group, which moved to a large premises in River Sands, Gauteng, early in April, has collaborated with various local and global enterprises since 2016 to provide water access at over 50 locations which are used to gather and treat 5 million litres of water each month. The firm builds water treatment systems from nanotechnology and macadamia nutshells to bring clean, safe drinking water to people in rural, peri-urban and informal settlements. So all of our systems would have a minimum of four stage treatment. Um, so each one of the systems would need to have some sort of a particulate filtration, some sort of a membrane filtration, um, some form of sterilization, um, as well as some, some form of um, activated carbon, because activated carbon we get it from macadamia nutshells. Um, 
and the, all the biggest difference between all of the systems is just the membrane sizing. So one membrane does about 250 liters per hour of the smaller membranes. The big membranes, one of them does 5,000 liters per hour. So when you have two, it's 10,000 liters per hour plus um, the smaller membranes. Um, if there's two of them, it's 500 liters per hour. In some cases, we have four membranes um, in, a big in a relatively bigger operations. 500 liters per hour are primarily for schools, um, for clinics, and for water kiosks. Yeah. That's Korea Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.